Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Jennifer. I am a teaching artist in the PACE program. The PACE program is an arts integration program of the Acadiana Center for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. And today, we will be learning about toucans. We're going to dry toucan. We're going to talk about toucans and their different colors that they have. And we'll also learn about the place in which they live. So boys and girls, this is the toucan picture that we are going to be drawing today. I am going to draw it step by step with you and make it really easy for you to draw this toucan. Before we get started drawing our toucan, we need to talk about the supplies that you need. You are going to need a piece of paper, about an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of white paper. You're going to need a ruler and you might ask, what do we need a ruler for? Well, the ruler is to help us mark our page so that it will be easier for us to draw. You are also going to need a pencil and you might want an eraser to erase the extra lines when we are done. You are going to need a black marker and if you want, you can have a thick marker and a thin marker. We have a lot of black to color. We can also use highlighters. We can use different kinds of markers. And guess what? If you don't have any of these, you can just use crayons and that will work as long as we have something to color with. And so let's go ahead and pause this video. I want you to go ahead and gather your supplies that we're going to be needing today. And when you are ready, Press play and I will be here waiting for you. So boys and girls, as you can see, I have a toucan picture next to my drawing and you can see that toucans have beautiful colors on them, which makes for a perfect lesson because we can use all those pretty markers and crayons that we have to color our toucans today. Now, there are lots of different kinds of toucans in the world. And as you can see here, there are toucans that have different colors on them. So today when you're coloring, it really doesn't matter what color you're coloring your toucans because they're all different colors. And so I want to go over a few fun little facts about toucans before we start drawing today. So I want you to sit back and enjoy the fun facts about toucans. So toucans make excellent pets. Yep, you got it. Toucans can be pets and they are very friendly, they're cuddly, they're playful, they're very smart and they're very curious. Boys and girls, do you know what curious is? Well, curious is when they kind of want to see everything and do everything. And so, yes, they're curious. They want to see everything. And they like to play with toys. So many people in the world have toucans as pets. Toucans have very long, colorful beaks. Their beaks are usually about eight inches long. So if we look here, that's from here to here. That is pretty long. That is how long a toucan's beak is. And the toucan's beak is very light, which means that it can easily hold up its head because the beak, even though it looks like it's very heavy, is actually very light. And they use these long beaks to grab fruit and berries from long branches. They can reach to the end of a branch on a tree. They eat fruits, insects, small snakes, lizards, and other bird eggs. Toucans live in South America. There are over 40 different kinds of toucans. So there are a lot more toucans than I have in this picture. Toucans can live up to 20 years old. That's pretty long for a toucan. 
But you know what? There's something about toucans that I bet a lot of people really don't care for. They're very loud. That means they scream and sing very, very loud. And they get louder and louder as we get into the late afternoon and into the night. Can you imagine having a loud toucan in your house? Toucans live in the rainforest. Now the rainforest has a lot of plants and trees and other animals in it. And so here I have a book that's called Explore the Rainforest. And I want to share some of the pictures with you. And let's see if I can get them to clear off of it so you can see it. Look at all of these different plants. And there's like little monkeys in the rainforest. There are some pretty birds. Here, right down at the bottom right here is a snake and a frog. And, oh wow, check out this one. Let's see. There we go. Look at this huge bird. And some plants here. And what do we see here, my friends? You guessed it, our toucan. And watch this. When I pull this little part, oh, I've got to push. Nope, let's see. I hold it down right here. And that's not wanting to work for Miss Jennifer. There you go. The toucan opens and closes his beak. Let's see. Can you see that? Good job. Here are other animals in the rainforest. Ooh, look at these pretty macaw birds. And here are some other animals. Down here is another monkey. Lots and lots of plants. The big thing about the rainforest is there's lots of plants. And it stays sort of wet in the rainforest. That's why a lot of these beautiful plants grow really pretty and healthy and tall. And so here we go. Here are some more. Oh, let's check back here. Look at this little bird hiding back there. And... Here we go. There are some vines growing. Here is a butterfly, some other birds. Do you recognize this bird right here? Yep, you guessed it. That is a hummingbird. And watch how it happens. A snake pops out. Isn't that cool? So in the rainforest, we even have snakes. And one more. And here we go. This is the last one in my book and here this little frog even puts his tongue out it's not so funny and so in the rainforest we have lots of trees as i said vines plants and here we go there's even a little person right here so this is what a tropical rainforest looks like and that is where our toucans live now toucans build nest in hollow trees and they have babies in these nests after 15 days of sitting on the eggs. The babies stay in the nest for two months while the mom and dad toucans take care of their babies. And so those are some little fun facts about toucans and I am ready to move on to the next part. All right, boys and girls, now that we have learned some pretty amazing facts about toucans, we are going to get ready to start drawing. So now I'm going to move my toucan picture over to the side so we can still look at it. And I'm going to get that white paper that you have for this lesson. So this is a very long sheet of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and you're going to take one side and you're going to touch it to the other side, just like this. And then you're going to fold it down on the line. You're going to then open it up and now you have a card. Now open it and now I want you to fold it the opposite way so that it's nice and long. Press it down. And now we have a card going the long way. All right. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take our pencil and we're going to draw these lines right here. One going vertically and one going horizontally. I'm going to take my ruler and my pencil and I'm going to lay my ruler on the folded line. And there you go. My line is going across. And then I'm going to do the same thing going up and down. I'm going to simply just draw my line going vertically. And I already had it horizontally. And there we go. Now we're ready to start our toucan drawing. We're going to use this, um, these lines to help us to draw today. Now, if you want to draw with your pencil and then go back later and trace it with your markers, you can do that. If you want to just draw it with your markers, that is okay too. So I'm going to get my marker. I'm now going to put my drawing right on the side of it so that you can see what I'm doing as we go along this picture. All right, so about right here on the top of my paper, I wanna put a black dot. Do you see that? All right, and then right about here on the edge of the paper, we're going to put another dot. So one here and one here. And then we're going to come down about this four and we're going to put another dot right here. So now we have one, two, three dots. All right, and so here we go. We're gonna take this dot and we're going to make a curved line up to the top we're starting the top of his beak. And then you're going to pass up that line, or should I say that dot, just a little bit, just like this. And that is this part right here of my toucan. All right, now I'm going to go from this dot to this dot with another curved line. And now we just made his beak. If you notice right here, right in the middle, there's another line, and so you can simply draw a line in between. Good job. Here I have two curved lines on the end, so I'm going to make a curved line, and this one I think I'm going to make a little bit bigger. That is the end of his beak. How's it going? Good job. All right. Now, even with this line right here, I'm going to put a dot right here. And I want to make that a pretty big dot. What do you think this dot might be, my friends? Well, if you said his eye, you guessed it. Now, if you notice right here, I have a little bitty white dot. And so if you want to make it a little bit bigger and you want to use a little, uh, you want to leave a little white dot, you can do that. That will be just fine. All right. Now what I want you to do about right here, I want you to draw a dot. You're going to start from the dot. And now we're going to use a curved line and we want to connect it to the line that we have on top. We're now starting the side part, or should I say the back part of his head. Good job. If you need time to catch up, again, pause and press play when you are ready and I will be here waiting for you. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is <clears throat> Right on the top of his eye, about right here, we're going to make a curved line that goes all the way around and back to the top. And that's this part right here. 
Now you will notice around our toucan's eye, I have another line. And so here's one curve and another curve around his eye. Good job, boys and girls. All right, now we're gonna go under the line this time, under this line, and we're going to put a dot right here. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take this dot and we're going to come up to the eye about right here. And so we're going to make a curved line going up to the eye. And that is this part right here that we're working on. All right. Then we're going to take this one part and we're going to go up here. And then watch this. We're going to make a wavy line and we're going to connect back to his eye. And that is that part. Now, notice something. I'm going to now connect this part to his eye. I'm not gonna worry about this part right now because there's something else that we're going to do. But we will take from this dot going up to his eye. And now we're working on this part right here. Take your time at any time that you need to stop. Just pause this video and press play when you're ready to join us again. Of course, I will still be here for you. All right, so right here, what we're going to do is we are going to make a zigzag line. And then we're also going to make a curved line right here. And that makes this little part of our toucan. And you can go ahead and you can color it in because that part will be black. And there you go. If you want to round it off a little bit, you can do that. You can definitely decide how you want it by simply just coloring in a little bit more. And there I go. All right, we're gonna start from the side here and we're just going to make a curved line that's gonna go all the way to the bottom of my paper. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to get a piece of cardboard because I don't wanna write on my tablecloth and I'm going to move my picture up just a little bit so that you can see this bottom part that we're working on next. All right, take from this dot and just go off the side of the paper right here. Good job. Now, we want to make our wing so now we're going to make a curved line up here. And there we go. This part right here is going to be black. And so if you want to, you can take your larger marker. Ooh, I got a squeaky marker. And I'm going to color in all of this part around the eye, just like this. Trying to make sure to color in all of the white on your paper. And you're going to color all the way around to the top of his head. Just like this. Making sure to color in any of those little white spots that you might have. All right, good job, boys and girls. And so there I go. Now I'm gonna close my large marker for now because I still have something that I need to do. I need to make this part of his wing right here. And that's just gonna be a very large curve line. And so I'm going to start from here 
and I'm just going to make a curved line going down to the bottom. And this is his wing. Now while you're waiting for the next part, you can go ahead and I'm gonna turn my paper just a little bit. You can also now color in this part right here. All of this part will be black. And you can see here, it is black on my two can. How's it going, boys and girls? Are you able to get these parts colored with the black? Hoping that you're not having the same problem I'm having. It looks like Miss Jennifer's marker is not working in some places. I think it's because I'm pressing so hard on my marker. And you might also have that, so you might just have to not press so hard. And you could always go back and you can color in any parts that you would need. All right, and there we go. I'm going to close my marker. Now, for his wing, I decided to make a wavy line on the top and sort of some straight lines on the bottom. You don't necessarily have to follow what Miss Jennifer's doing because you might want to use some lines or some um, little pieces that look like feathers. That is totally up to you. So now I'm going to take my thin black marker and I am going to make me some wavy lines going from one side to the other side. Just like that. And at the bottom, I just simply want to make some lines going down. It doesn't matter where you put your lines. That will be fine. All right. We're going to go back to our large black marker again because now we need to color in his wing and we're going to make a pattern orange black orange black orange black orange black orange black we're going to skip the first one and then the second part we're going to color in with our black marker our purple marker maybe one of a green marker it doesn't really matter you decide all right so there's one and now i'm going to skip another one and I'm going to color going all the way down to the bottom of my paper, going back, coloring any white that I would see. Here's another one. And there I go. I have them all colored. Now I think what I want to do on this bottom one is I want to redraw that wavy line so it's a little bit thicker. And there we go. We have our what, boys and girls? Our toucan drawing. Again, making sure if you need to stop, do that, pause the video, catch up, and then you can start again with me. I will be waiting for you. Okay. Now, I will start using my markers to color my toucan. And again, you can color your toucan the way that I did, or we can also look back at these. There's different colors. Or if you just simply want to be creative, guess what? It's your toucan. I say, put the colors that you would want. And so, let's go ahead and I'm gonna start coloring mine. Now I'm gonna color mine different colors from the one I colored before, just because I want a different kind of toucan. And so I'm going to start first, and I think this time I am going to put maybe some orange around his eye. So you can color around his eye with any color that you would like. Does anybody remember if the toucan's beak is a hard beak? or a soft beak. If you said soft, you were right. It is very soft. You know what the amazing thing about a toucan is? That the toucan's beak is so large that when a toucan sleeps, it tucks its 
beak onto the back of its head. It turns its head around and it puts its beak on the back of its head so that it's not so heavy for the toucan to sleep. I thought that was pretty amazing. All right, and let's see. I think for this one, I wanna add some blue to my toucan's beak. So I'm going to make blue on this part. Again, whatever color you want is fine with me. Um, this time, I think I want to put, let's see, I think I'm going to put some purple at the end of his beak. And there you go. My purple is a little light color in color, but it is going to be just fine. Have fun with this. Put it the colors that you think you want your toucan to be. That is okay with me. All right. And then the next thing I think that I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use pink for the rest of his beak. And so I'm going to color this section right here with my pink. Just making sure that you have a beautiful colored toucan. Now, I'm gonna stop for just a second because I just noticed something. We have pencil lines that we drew across our paper. So this time, if you wanna take your eraser and you want to erase all of the pencil lines that we made on your paper, this probably would be a perfect time to do that. And so here we're just simply taking off those lines that we drew to show us where we needed to draw the different parts of our toucan. All right. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to color the rest of my toucan's beak with my pink. And there you go. That's a pretty amazing color. And if you notice it here, on this one I put some orange. So maybe if you want to use a darker color, um, maybe I could use this pretty kind of purplish color. And maybe I could color in some of this a little bit darker. Just like this. That would work really well. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You could all, we could leave it just one color. All right. Now, I'm going to go down to this part. Now, Miss Jennifer do it a little different right here because some of our two cans have different colors and I wanted this one to be a little bit different. And so, in that little color right there, I think that I might put some, hmm, let me see what color. I think I'm going to go back with my purple. And I'm going to add some purple right here. All right. Now I really liked the yellow on my toucan. And so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to stay with the white, I'm sorry, with the yellow color over the white. So I'm going to get my color or my marker and I'm going to use a different color, yellow. This time I'm using a yellow highlighter, which you definitely can use if you have one. And I'm going to color in this part of my two hands. you know what a toucan is a bird and a toucan having been having feathers means that it is definitely what a bird good job all right right here 
If you want to color a pattern here, you can. You don't have to. You could color the whole thing the way that I did before. It's really up to you. I'm going to go ahead and I think that I will make a pattern this time. And this time I'm going to use this really dark turquoise color. And I'm going to color the top part here. It's up to you again on what you want to do. Anytime that you need to stop the video or pause the video to catch up on your coloring, just do that and press play when you return. I will continue to be here for you. All right, and now I think that I want to do a darker purple this time. I'm gonna go on with some darker colors that I didn't use on my other two pans. And there I go. A nice, bright, colorful toucan. I sure wish I could see the colors that you're making your toucans because I bet they are like amazing. I bet they are so beautiful. Saying that, don't forget, if you're going to post it on Facebook, tag the Acadiana Center for the Arts. I sure would love to see these beautiful, colorful toucans that you guys are making. And now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red here. Again, if you don't have a color marker that you want, you can always use crayons to do this too, and that will work just fine. It doesn't all have to be marker. And matter of fact, if you only have crayons, that's fine too. Crayons make beautiful colors when you color in with them. All right, nice and bright. And then I'm going to go for that green color. And I think this is the color that I used. Maybe not, yep, here we go. And here, I'm going to color in my green. Now remember that a toucan lives in the rainforest and the rainforest has all of those plants that I talked about. So later, if you want, you could actually take your picture and you could draw some different plants around your toucan so that you can make him in his natural habitat. And a habitat, boys and girls, is a place in which an animal lives. It's a place where they have food, they have shelter, a place for them to stay safe, like a hollow log, maybe some trees and vines to protect them so nothing can get to them. And of course, they also need some water. So you can do that on your paper. I'm not going to do that today because I think that that's something that I would like to see you guys do on your own. And that way I get to see how creative your plants and everything in your habitat will be. All right, and I'm going to now use my pink. And I want to color in pink here. I think I'm just going to color pink on all of them, actually. I'm kind of liking that pink. And I'm just about finished coloring my toucan. But don't worry, if you still need to color, even after this video, you can always go back and color your toucan. You also can take the time to make another toucan if you would like, and maybe change the colors. Maybe put different plants on the paper behind your toucan. That would really be nice. And so remember, toucans like berries, fruits, and they use that long beak to catch them at the end of the branches. Also know that a toucan uses those beautiful colors to sometimes hide around those beautiful flowers and vines and plants that you saw in the book that I showed you. They kind of blend in. We call that camouflage. Can you say it together? Camouflage. 
they blend in with nature. And nature is what we find outside. And so, Miss Jennifer is going to go back to the part where the toucan is at. And as you can see, these berries and these different plants right here kind of blend in with the toucan so that it is camouflaged. Is it started hiding so nothing can get to it and it is protected. All right, so we are now finished with our picture for today, boys and girls. And I hope that you continue making more toucans today. If not today, maybe spend some time with some friends. Show them how to make the toucans. And then maybe you can color your toucans different colors. All right, so I hope that you had fun with this little video today and this toucan. And I am looking forward to seeing your pictures. I would love to see your toucan drawings, so if you would like to get an adult to take a picture of you, of course, with your toucan drawing, and post it on Facebook, along with tagging the Acadian Center for the Arts, then I will get a chance to see the beautiful toucan that you made today. And you will also get to see toucans that other children in the community did along with me today. So boys and girls, we have now come to the end of this little lesson. And if you want to make more art lessons, then you can join us at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time for kindergarten, first and second grade. Each lesson will be tied into the academic curriculum. The lessons will be in visual arts and in creative movement. Please make sure that you come back and see us tomorrow and make more art with us. If you are interested in donating to the Acadiana Center for the Arts, the nonprofit organization that manages the PACE program, you may do so using the link in the description. Please help keep our teaching artists working and let's make art. Want more? If you are interested in doing private lessons with me online, I would love to work with you. I can lead one-on-one, -on -one, which means just you and me, or maybe you and your brother and sister, maybe even a group of friends. If you are interested in private lessons with me online, then you may email me at jenjazdaz at yahoo.com. I would love to work with you.